Hi, I'm Jörn Applekvist and I'm the CTO at Crosser. In this video, I will talk about how Unified Namespace or UNS simplifies data management. So what is a Unified Namespace? Um, for me, there are two main parts. First one is a standardized data model that you apply over multiple uh, systems with different types of data. And this is also where I see the main value with the unified namespace, that you have standardized your data to make it easier to use and derive value from. The second part is what I call a presentation layer here, because once you have the, the data in this standardized format, you need some way to present this data so that it can be used. Um, the presentation layer can take different forms. A common option today is to use an MQTT broker uh, to present the data, but it could also be other things like a, an OPC UA server or a database or some other uh, storage uh, service that you can use for this type of solution. And depending on which type of presentation layer that you select, you also get access to different types of data with an MQTT broker, for example, then you will have the current state of your, your data available, and then you get updates whenever data changes. If you choose um, other types of presentations lay presentation layers, you may also have access to historical data for, for your different data sources. So why do you do this? Well, the main reason as I see it is to simplify the use of the data. So making it easier to build applications that use the data that you have available. And with this type of, of solution, you decouple your applications from your data sources, both from a, a data format perspective based on the, the um, common data model. Uh, when building applications, you don't need to know where data originates or what the original format was. You can just uh, or as long as you know the data model, you can start to build applications that uses the data. And through the presentation layer, you also decouple the producers of data from the consumers of data or the applications that use the data. So you can introduce new uh, producers of data, new data sources without having to change any of your applications. They can immediately start using this new data uh, that the new producers are, are uh, delivering without needing to change the applications. You can also add new applications without affecting existing applications or, or um, any of the data sources that you have available. So simplification of the use of data, I would say is the main reason for creating um, a unified namespace. So using the crosser integration and, and streaming analytics platform, uh, we can help you implement most of the things that you need to do when implementing um, a unified namespace, starting with converting data from any data source or system into a standardized data model that you have defined, um, and then <clears throat> deliver this data into, into your selected presentation layer. You can also use Crosser to build applications that use the data, um, things like um, De calculating derived insights like OEE or other types of KPIs or building um, optimization applications where you use data from, from um, uh, the UNS and feed it through a machine learning model to derive optimized settings that you want to feed back into your, your systems and other types of, of applications. Crosser does not provide a presentation layer, but we can work with any of the options that are commonly used out there, whether it's an MQTT broker, an OPC UA server, or some kind of database or, or storage service. They can all be used together with the Crosser solution. If you want to learn more, uh, please check out our website at crosser.io. Uh, there you can also sign up for a free trial if you want to play around with our tools on your own. Uh, there's free training available if you want need help getting started. If you just want to watch um, what our tools look like, we run demos every Wednesday at four o'clock Central European time. Hope to hear from you um, and thanks for watching.